All right, this question came to me in a class I was teaching the other night. And the question is, do you believe in evil? And here's my short answer, nope, but I do believe in stupid. But here's the thing, you can fix stupid, you could get smarter, you can learn more about how the universe works. I've done a lot of stupid things in my life and I'll probably do more, but each and every time, if I'm really paying attention, I will learn something and I won't do the stupid thing again. Stupid is fixable. But when I label something as evil or as an enemy, some other power, something other than what I am, something other than good, something other than love, when I label something as bad, let's say, what I'm really saying is that's not fixable. I'm not going to do anything about making that better. And so when I call something evil, when I let something be some other power in my life, I remove my ability to make a positive difference. When I say that something's evil, I'm saying I don't want to help. And that's not a claim that I'm willing to make. Let me put that a different way. If somebody says that 2 plus 2 equals 5, it doesn't mean that math is wrong. It means that they did something dumb. It doesn't also mean that, that they've proven somehow the opposite of mathematics. No, they're still just math. It just means they don't know enough about how to make it work. Yes, there are things going on in the world, things on the news, things in our lives that we want to fix that make us feel bad and, and all of that kind of stuff. That stuff is really happening. But the way to get it to not happen anymore is not to label it as an enemy because that gives it so much power and it short circuits the healing process. When you see something that doesn't feel good, that doesn't seem like the right way to do it, well, that's just 2 plus 2 equals 5. And the choice that we have is to get smarter in our heads, in our hearts, in our lives. Get a little bit smarter about the way that things really work. And realize in this world, in this life, in this universe, there are no enemies. There is just love. All we have to do is figure out how to love a little bit better. Figure out how life works a little bit better. There are a lot of people who don't know how to choose healthy things. So you're going to call them evil just because they don't do it the way that you do it? Well, that doesn't help. Let's get to the place where we realize that we are all in this together. We only need one presence and power. I happen to believe in omnipotent love. And the secret to healing, to getting over it, whatever it happens to be, the secret to getting better, getting smarter, to doing better math, has to do with seeing that love happening wherever you are. You don't need some kind of eternal punishment, eternal damnation, because if I believe in bad math, well, my checkbook's not going to work out. And I'm punished all by myself. My bad math is a self-punishing situation. I don't need some external power to make me sorry. But the good news about that is as soon as I get smarter, as soon as I change my mind, as soon as I get a little wiser about how life works, Life works a little bit better. And so you and I have a very clear job, and that is to stop making enemies, stop making adversaries. There are people who don't make healthy choices, maybe. There are people that don't know how to treat each other. You and I are still learning about how to make healthier choices and how to treat each other and ourselves a little bit better. Let's all learn together. Healing happens when we stop labeling and we start saying, you know what, I'm going to be the kind of person that shows the world what love looks like right now. That is the secret to so much. Thanks for living this life with me. Thanks for sending in these amazing questions. Thank you for subscribing to the YouTube page. And most of all, and this is really important, go to facebook.com slash Dieter Randolph and click that like button right now. And then go tell everybody else to do it. Take care of yourself.